everyone. I got Joy. I got Joy's cooking. Today's one of my favorite days in cooking because I'm making an applesauce cake. Actually, I'm making two. When I prepped for this one, I prepped for another one. You know, it, you might as well, if you want to make two cakes, you might as well prep for uh, both of them at the same time because you got your flour there. You might as well separate it in two dishes and go with it. Anyway, uh, that's what I did. This is my first one. My mother had a wonderful applesauce cake that she made every year, several times a year. And when she passed away, my sisters and I tried to make it. So one year we decided for Christmas that we would all three make the cake and see which was one that was most like Mama's. Well, it wasn't, none of them, and they were all bad. So I quit making them for a while, and then my sweet cousin, Lena, gave me her mother's recipe to an applesauce cake. And uh, I've made it ever since, I guess it's been eight or ten years. And I used to make five. Two is my limit anymore because too much to do. Anyway, I'm going to give you the ingredients, and then I'll give it to you after the cake. And then there's always the recipe at the beginning of the video. It's four cups of flour. Two cups of sugar, a brown sugar, and one cup of white sugar. It's three sticks of margarine. It's one and a half cups. So it's three sticks of margarine, which I'll put over there in a minute. And three cups of applesauce, two cups of raisins, two cups of nuts. And then here's the spices, two teaspoons of allspice. Two teaspoons of cloves, three, te three teaspoons of cinnamon or one table, three teaspoons of baking soda or one uh, tablespoon, uh, three eggs. It has to be uh, baked for three at 325 for one and a half hours. Now I've got my oven set on 325. The thing about this cake is it's a big cake. And my uh, cake pan is 14 ounces. Now, if you don't have a 14-ounce bake can, that's fine. All you have to do is go ahead and um, put in your bake cake, and there's enough left for a but for a um, loaf cake pan. So, you know what? You get to actually get two. If you don't have a big one, you just get two good applesauce cakes, and they go they pr go pretty good, you know that. So, let's get started. Now, this is baking soda, allspice, cinnamon, and what? Close, yeah. This smells so good. When you make an applesauce cake, your house smells good for two or three days. that mixed. Now this is one and a half cups of butter or three um, sticks of butter. I'm, the reason I'm not using my, a big mixer, I'm always afraid with this as big as this uh, recipe is, it might just bog it down so I just Use my regular hand mixer. Three eggs. Three cups of applesauce. I make my own applesauce. I don't try to... I make applesauce every fall just for my um, cake. And I think it's time for the... Mixer. Now, I think that's been beat enough. Let's put the raisins. And I, it comes with two cups of raisins. I put the whole box because it's 12 ounces. And that's not quite two cups, but I hate to open another box just for 
a few, so I just usually just put the whole box. And the nuts. I'm using walnuts. You can use pecans, any kind of nuts you want. And it's two cups. always so light and fluffy. It's it's unbelievable how good the batter is. I had one brother that loved uh, fruit cakes. Not many people do, but I would make them a fruit cake. Again. That's almost done. We got the eggs, we got everything in there. We're good to go. We put it in time to start with. You can see how fluffy the cake makes is. I mean the batter is. The I used to love to uh, get the applesauce that had the um, chunky applesauce. Oh, that just worked perfect. You can't find it anymore like everything else. So I haven't found it for several years. So I just get me some Granny Smith apples and freeze them in three cups each. And I got them when I need them. Plus, I like apples with breakfast anyway. There's my applesauce thing. This is a good exercise. <laughs> okay, it's going into the oven, 325. And I'm sorry you're not here to smell. <laughs> wow, my cake's out of the oven. It turned out beautifully. It's stuck just a little teeny bit, but I let it set 10 minutes and dumped it, and it just came out perfectly. I actually had a little bit left over, and I made uh, six breakfast muffins over. I'm going to have to cut this recipe down, I think. Some other time. It ain't going to be this year. But I hope you like, I hope you try it because oh, it smells so good. But I'm taking it to my church tomorrow. So have a good day. It's Christmas is a bonus. Have a good day. Remember the joy and all the people that we should have in our prayers and thoughts this year. See you soon. Bye.